I think first and foremost, the reason they have such a close relationship is just because alcohol is the most common drug. So people just end up having sex after alcohol. It's not always, I mean, I think it's interesting when you talk about intentionality with sex and drug use, you know, because maybe you have a drink thinking, oh, this is going to make sex better or this is going to lower my inhibitions or maybe you're just out drinking and then you meet someone and you have sex or maybe it's like somewhere in the middle of that like completely coincidental and fully intentional there's there's like a, a whole spectrum in between that so yeah I mean the relationship is there really just because alcohol is so prevalent but equally you know I think it's a funny one because when, when I talk to people about my project people are always saying oh yeah like you know, it just loosens you up, like makes it easier, makes it easier to communicate. One of my friends from New Zealand today was saying alcohol and sex have such a close relationship in the UK because we're so uptight. <laughs> so maybe it's that, I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, that could make sense. So do you think that this is an issue with alcohol and sex or do you think this is an issue with people not being able to properly express themselves and what they want without yeah I think you, that's really true I think we're not taught how to communicate about sex in school like when we have sex education it's very much like this is how sex works like in terms of I don't know the word you know this is the physical act of sex this is the mechanics of sex whatever this isn't we're not really taught about the emotions that surround it and you know how to communicate with your partner, how to work out what they like, what they don't like. And I think this is especially, this is like, we, we're not taught at all really about like LGBT relationships, but equally we're not even really taught about how to negotiate heterosexual relationships. It's literally like, this is how heterosexual sex works, go up into your life. So yeah, I think it, go, it comes down to communication around sex in general, rather than like intoxication, being a problem per se. It's like a, a problem connected to both is communication, whether it's sober sex or intoxicated sex.